another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with Quick Hits. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, we got a great show for you guys today. Mikey Garcia. Uh, shocking loss. We're going to act like Mikey Garcia didn't lose to a guy that no one heard of up until yesterday. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Texas Boxing. Uh, 3D Boxing, a 3D Boxing blog on all of social media. Please uh, share, like, and subscribe. Also, uh, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Like I said, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please like to that like that channel as well. It's a brand new channel. All right, let's get into Mikey Garcia. I mean, this is just shocking stuff. Um, Sandar Martin, best win was against Joe Hughes. He had lost to Anthony Egit. Uh, this is not a guy that anyone thought was going to win nor be competitive. Um, after Alwyn Soto lost, you could see upset was in the air a little bit. Uh, but really, no one, no one expected this. Um, I, guys, shocking. Um, oh, shocking was Martin didn't even change it up that much. He was just circling, moving, you know, not being a stationary target, staying mobile. Firing jabs, you know, uh, power shots here and there. Um, and Mikey just couldn't adapt. Mikey couldn't do anything. Um, you know, I, I went back and I was like, well, did Mikey ever really fight a fleet of foot guy? No. I mean, this is kind of new. And, uh, you know, at a certain point, you know, hit him in the body. Hit him in the body. Slow him down. Slow him down. Cut off the ring. He couldn't do it. You know, I, you know, Mikey's 33, but he's only 30. I mean, he is 33, but he's only 33. That's not that old. You wouldn't expect him to ace like this. It's been a while. It's been about three years or more since Mikey's looked good in the fight. Think about it, right? He only fought once in 2019. He got outclassed, beat up by Errol Spence. Um, 2020. He fought Jesse Vargas, and that's it. And he did not. He won the fight. He beat Jesse Vargas. Tip your hat. Kudos to him. He did not look good in that fight. That was not a vintage Mikey performance. So you got to go back to Robert Easter Jr. in 2018, the last time Mikey looked good in a fight. It's a long time ago, guys. Look, I don't know what's left with Mikey. You know, he was obviously supposed to get programmed this. Thank God he didn't fight program fighting like this because he would have got beaten up by Regis last night. Um, well, that fight's off for now. You know, I, I don't know where Mikey goes. That is a tune-up. Sandra Martin is a tune-up tune-up. And you couldn't win that fight. I, I don't know where he goes from here. I really don't. Um, you know, they could have a rematch. I, I don't know what he, you know, he promotionally he's a free agent. He can go where he wants. Um, you know, 35, I don't know if he can make that anymore. He didn't even come in at 40. He came in between 40 and 47. Um, you know, I, I, my guess is his best days are left uh, at 40. You know, I don't know. Who, who do you want to see him fight at 40? You guys don't want to see him fight Regis after this. Does he fight Sandra Martin again? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I, <laughs> he couldn't do anything. I mean, if they fought again. What's Mikey going to do? He can't cut the ring off on him. He couldn't slow him down. He couldn't make him stationary. He was getting hit over and over again. Mikey can't. I mean, what is Mikey would have to do something so completely different. And I, I don't know what that is. And it would take me to my next question. Did we overrate Mikey? I was one of them. Back 2018, prior 2019, prior to the Spence fight, I had him high on my pound for pound. It was top three or four or five. You know, in that range, three, four, five. Was that overboard? You know, he had good wins. He had Easter. He had Broner. 
he had uh, Rocky Martinez. He had Salito. He had good wins. He did. But did we just rank him too high? We we may have. Look, he's high level basic. He's a power boxer. Um, but you look at it. He's fundamentally sound. He's got good timing. But where was it? Yes. Did we just overrate? Was Mikey never really as good as we said he was? You know, we're gonna find out now, right? One forty-seven was the wrong way for him. Comes back down to one forty. Who does he fight? You know. Um, don't fight a mover. You want to fight Cletus Southern? Cletus Southern's going to vicious knockout. Yes, they want to fight Cletus Southern. Yo, I, I I like the fight of Barrios. Can we, does you want to do that? Catch want to do Barrios at one forty four? Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't pick Mikey to win that. So where do we go with Mikey Garcia? I mean, it, it, it does look like his best days are behind him, or maybe he was just never as good as we said he was, you know, because he looked great to me in that run, especially after his comeback, right? Um, it's going to be tough. Like, Josue Vargas, who fights coming up, I wouldn't want my – I mean, I, I know it's going to be tough for Mike to work with a top-ranked guy. I, I, I get that. Uh, but I'm I just putting out names there in that weight class. That's not a good look for him. You know, uh, let's pull up the Judy Walterweight division. Josh Taylor, no. Rich Progress, no. Dependent, no. Tank Davis, no. Carlos Ramirez in the same camp. Santa Mar <laughs> Martin, they have at eight. Pedraza, Barbosa, Catterall, Easter. Sabril Matias. I mean, who did he come back? Don't come back against the move of Bartholomew and Barrios. You know, it's going to be interesting to see where he fights next. Because Mikey's still a draw. You know, I've been in Dallas. I've been with the Mexican-American community, and they do like Mikey. Mikey, you know, has a big fan base. I don't know if he loses somebody after a performance like that. Um, but this is the opposite of the year, right? I mean, I, I, I would guess Mikey wants to rematch him, but he's going to lose again unless he does something drastically different. And guys, don't tell me I'm wrong because you think Mikey's better. What's Mikey going to do in the ring that much differently? He, if he can't slow him down, he can't break him down to the body, he can't cut off the ring, Santa Martin's just going to move all over the place and do the same thing to him again. You know, give me the guy, give me the mover that, that Mikey beat. He hasn't. Maybe he can't. Maybe there's good reason for it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, I want to see Mikey come back. I, I, I want to see him take a good fight. I, I, I don't want to see him fight Mark. I like Barrios at 144. You know, do a catch weight again because Barrios doesn't want to fight at 140. Um, you know, but look, it, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Who do you want to see Mikey fight next? Do you want to see a rematch? Can he do anything fundamentally different in a rematch? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please uh, like and subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, it is October 18th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in um, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.